So far we're doing so well. At least we had a, a good weather season. We had enough friends and people have what to eat. The coffee has performed very well. At least we are, we are food secure. Looking at the programs that the government mm. has been telling people to do, we saw a president also bringing in the four model the irrigation methods. Mm. Are they having any impact in the people? Yes. In Masaka especially? Yes. yes. In Masaka we have some bit of progress. Mm, you're looking at productive you now. The coffee pro- we've received over 15 million of coffee seedlings under UCDA, and the, the acreage has increased for coffee, and the productivity has also increased. Masaka is the leading coffee producer in Uganda, and it has been through the intervention of UCDA and increasing the coffee plant population that we've also done well. We've been able to improve on the banana because we are receiving some tissue cultures from nuts. The acreage of pineapples has increased. Our core crops in Masaka are basically coffee and banana. Any challenges you face? You know, the biggest challenge we have are weather fluctuations. Sometimes the rains come late. Sometimes farmers plant their crops and there's no rain. Once they are ripening, they are ripening. The farmer has nothing to do with them. He has to harvest them and sell them at the price available mm. in the market. We have some pests and diseases that become a challenge. Now we have the coffee trick borer. As the productivity is increasing, we are getting a challenge of now fighting the trick borer now, the disease, mm. which is a pest. But at the same time, government is always doing, we are, we, are, we are promoting some varieties which are resistant to the wilt. Uh, which ones? We have the Chituza varieties. Eh? So how are the farmers in Masaka perceiving these programs? You know, farmers in Masaka are good farmers. They know what they want. Usually, a farmer, a farmer growing coffee and wants to grow coffee, mm. when you give him an input like coffee seedlings, they will, they, will, they will basically appreciate and take up the technology. Those who are doing the pineapple are also doing very well. Mm. Those ones who are doing the banana, because Masaka is being known for the coffee banana system, eh? mm. the challenge we had with banana was the banana weevils and the nematodes. With the intervention of WC, we are getting clean banana planting materials free from the weevils and the nematodes. And some are very eager and very interested in picking up this technology. According to you as an agriculture officer, do you think these programs, they show the readiness of these farmers as voters to participate in the coming elections? Yeah, every time government answers a problem, they also feel that government is caring for them. Mm-hmm. The challenge we had at first were inputs. Mm-hmm. Now government is providing inputs to farmers. Now from, from inputs, government is now, we're now moving into productivity, we're now trying to subsidize on, on what? On, on the agrochemicals, on fertilizers and post-service materials. And now the farmers are also looking at the government taking charge of the issues affecting them. And that's how farmers can only respond to voting only when you, you see that these people are taking... I mean, you only are doing what they want. Exactly that. <laughs> if they ask for this, if a farmer wants a seed and you don't give him a seed, he has a person, you don't give him pesticide. Mm. That also affects their, their responsiveness.